the most high value skill which will be relevant thousand years from now is the skill of learning. As knowledge is everything. And in our ever changing world today, our knowledge and must continually be updated with new information and we must continue to learn and to acquire new skills. So the question is how can we self learn? How can we teach ourselves pretty much anything? In this video the focus would be on math or we will take that as an example. It is to have growth mindset and which is simply the belief that you can learn anything which is also as well the motto of Khan Academy. But anyways growth mindset is that belief that you are able to learn that you can better yourself and often it's not really about mental capacity but about mentality some just cross themselves out without even trying because they have this belief that they're not smart enough but it's not really about being smart or you know being more intelligent it's just about whether you believe you can learn you have to believe that you can learn whether you think you can or not you're probably right so how can we believe that we can the measure of perseverance is a measure of self belief the more we believe in ourselves the more we will endure challenges and endurance and perseverance are generally the ingredient to success to learn anything but it will be challenging it will be tough and yeah I struggle to learn new things and to develop our skills but you have to know that difficult loads lead to great destinations. We must all have a mindset and believe in ourselves that we can and we can learn and to that we can get better and develop ourselves because we can. And generally we're just all a living example of that. Nobody's been born being able to walk, run or even sit, but through falling we learn how to walk and then from there we learn to run. So through learning we develop and although it's sometimes a struggle you have to know that the struggle and the challenges especially the striving it develops you to achieve it develops you to get better so the striving shapes us and makes us achieve and when we finally do it makes us appreciate our achievement the main point is about developing as much as possible and to allow yourself to make mistakes and to allow yourself to not know everything because Nobody does, nobody knows everything. And to be accepting of mistakes as it is a natural part of the learning process and also to not know things, that is also normal. And it's never been a better time for self-learning than it is now. We have all these resources available. We uh, have to use it. We must all use it. Central competence and the learning and the learning and the math learning process are endeavor, effort, and persistence, which generally applies to everything else as well. And however, it's important to distinguish between productive strive and non-productive strive. When you're productive striving, you're just learning, seeking to learn, although there's a challenge, although there's a, although there's a challenge and a struggle, and not just about looking for the right answer, and you have to know that it's normal to struggle. Everybody struggles. Math is challenging. There is endless videos on YouTube and explaining, explaining topics and sewing, solving steps to problems. Get used to struggling and just striving, as that is what will develop us. It is what is happens when we try to grasp a new and unknown concepts, which is normal. When we face new challenges and concepts we have no clue about, learning isn't first having an overview. But when you're learning, don't overwhelm yourself with details. Just build the corner of the puzzle and then you can fit the rest of it later on. Nobody knows everything and our job when you're learning should be just to develop as much as possible and to just learn and to better our skills and not about knowing everything so we must be comfortable not knowing and to find out what we don't know and then seeking to learn seeking to learn and to better ourselves this is generally what lifelong learning is math is a challenging subject because unlike most subjects it is 
a block that builds upon each other. So if you lock some blo- if so if you so if you lock some blocks beneath, it will be incredibly hard and it will be crumbling when you are trying to build on the top. So, when you're learning math and you find yourself struggling, and most of the time, it, if it is because you're lacking some blocks beneath, you have to fill that block first before you try to build on the top. So finding missing blocks and building on before we build on the top is what learning math is. So when you're learning new concepts, there must always be a ground base of basic knowledge in, for instance, arithmetic equations and algebra or some topics within that. For example, in integration, you have to understand derivation before you do integrational questions and also know a little bit about properties of monotonic function. So when you come to math, you, there's a lot of things that the question or in classes that are expected of us to know from before. And if you don't, you have to go back and to learn that before you continue building on. I do that all the time with myself when I'm practicing, when I'm doing math questions. I find myself not knowing things that the question expects me to know. So I must first learn that before I can continue solving the question.